Now, with the ride-hailing app Safe Border pulling out of Kenya, it has rendered hundreds of jobless in the country, including call center operators. Meanwhile, thousands of motorcycle riders registered on the platform will have to seek work elsewhere. Here's CGTN's Enoch Sikolia reporting from Nairobi. Across Nairobi, one cannot fail to spot a motorcycle taxi donning an orange reflector jacket and marching helmet. But a few months from now, these flashes of orange with a safe border logo may be a rare sight. The motorcycle hailing app has exited the Kenyan market. Walter Obinya joined the app when it expanded to Kenya in 2018. He recalls a bonus structure in place in the early days. Whenever you rendered services to three people in a day, you would earn a bonus of three US dollars. Five people, you would get five dollars. And if you ferry ten people, you get ten dollars. Obinya says anyone joining the app was taken through thorough safety and customer care training. Riders were kitted out with reflector jackets and helmets for themselves and their customers. He says that focus on safety endeared them to customers. Many people would come to the stage looking for anyone with safe border helmet. He or she would then make a request specifically targeted at you. Safe Boda said the decision to exit Kenya was due to the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. But riders from Kenya dispute that reason. Many say the app was struggling even before the pandemic struck, facing off with competitors like Uber and Bolt. They started reducing rates for fares and so riders started leaving the app and they never listened to our plight. Despite our complaints and protests, the money we were getting became little as the app sought to make clients happy at our expense. In recent years, border borders have become a popular mode of transport in Kenya. At the same time, it has provided employment opportunities for young Kenyans and the haul left behind by safe border in the industry will hopefully be quickly filled. Enoxicole, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.